everyone. Just mixing up my greens over here. Don't ask why I've got it in a, well, I'm gonna tell you why I've got it in a wine glass because I really weirdly, I have like 55 mugs in my house. I'm not even joking. The amount of nugs, nut. Oh my God, I can't get my words out. I've not filmed a YouTube video in the longest time. I have about 55 mugs in my house. I'm not even joking because when I was moving into my house, I bought like all of my cutlery and things like that. What do you call like mugs and dishes? It's not called cutlery. It's called, oh my God, what is it called? Like all dishes. I can't actually, oh my God, I literally can't think. What a great start to this YouTube video. I actually can't even think. Anyways, I bought all of that before I even had actually finished building my house because I was just so excited. Sorry, I've got like one of these um things that stick on like glass and stuff. By the way, the best like three pounds you'll ever, ever spend. You get them from Amazon. See, I've totally gone off um, subject here, but you get them from Amazon. They're literally like three pounds. But I stick mine together because otherwise I don't find that they're that sticky, but I think you get like a packet of four. This is how I film like all of my TikToks and stuff. Even when I take pictures, I just stick it on the glass with this. So definitely, definitely get these. In fact, I will actually link them. If I remember, because we want to have the worst memory. If I can remember, I will link it down below because best couple of pounds you'll actually ever spend. One of my friends got me this for my birthday birthday. Oh my god, it's all just going off. The door's going now. No guys, honestly, if my doorbell rings for literally, well you've just heard, well I probably would have cut some of that out, but it literally rings for the longest time. Anyways, what was I even saying? This video is like three minutes long and I haven't even got into one question yet. I was saying about these, my friend actually got me this for my birthday. One of my friends, Jasmine, she's so cute and thoughtful. She always gets me like little things that I just really need. Like really, really random, like really random. Like say one time I'd said to her, oh, I really need like a saucepan that, I don't know, then just uh, really random. I couldn't even think of an example then. But then she'll just turn up with like a saucepan for like, my birthday but it's something I really needed anyways she yeah for my birthday last year got me these and it's one of the best things I've actually ever been bought and not an expensive gift at all but game changer and I actually am seeing everyone use these now can't even remember what they're called but yeah I will link it down below anyways what was I even I don't even know what I was saying oh yeah I don't have any glasses in my house is what I was saying I bought all the mugs and stuff before I even moved in because I got so excited I can't have mugs that don't all go together like I love really cute mugs but I I just couldn't have like all different mugs. It would genuinely stress me out, which sounds a little bit crazy because I am like the least OCD person. I'm like the opposite end of the spectrum. I am so unorganized, so messy, so chaotic. I don't know why I have this thing with like messy mugs. So anyways, I've literally bought like 50 mugs. I have so many mugs, so many plates for little old me. I don't have any glasses. So anyways, I'm drinking my greens in a wine glass, but you know what, it's all good. Also, I've only started taking greens the past couple of days but I figured I really, really want to take care of my insides as well as my outsides. And I feel like a lot of that, majority of that comes from nutrition. Okay, I feel like I should actually get into this Q&A now. I'm so sorry for rambling for so long. It feels really weird to actually just sit here and film a video like this. And I thought I would film outside of my wardrobe because that's pretty much where I film most of my videos. It's actually really funny because around me is so messy right now. It probably looks quite tidy, but my house is an absolute tit. So I do need to tie it up. In fact, I really, really need to spend the day tidying. And you are literally balancing on like boxes and boxes and there's boxes around you and it's, yeah. So do not be fooled. Do not be fooled. It's long overdue, I think, that I do a catch up. I really just want to come back to YouTube and start filming videos that I used to absolutely love filming. I really, yeah, just want to do that again. And last year was a little bit of a weird year for me. I didn't really know what I wanted in life. And I felt like I had to, I felt like I couldn't upload certain things and I had to upload certain things to like keep up trends and stuff. And now I just want to upload what I enjoy uploading. And hopefully a lot of you enjoy that as well. So I did actually ask a QA and a on my Instagram. Honestly, most people are asking the same thing. But yeah, I feel like I do have a lot to update you with. So I will start off with the first question, which is really cute actually. So many people asked me this and said, how is your year going so far? So we've obviously just got out of January. January was probably 
one of the weirdest months of my life, I'm not gonna lie to you, one of the hardest months of my life. As a lot of you guys will know, I did actually go skiing to start off with, and I ended up hurting myself, having, well, what I thought was my ACL, I will get into that in a second, not being able to walk, not being able to go on the ski trip, and I kind of just got a lot of bad news at once that week, and it was just a really, really tough week, I'm not gonna lie. It was kind of just me, myself, and my thoughts stuck in a hotel room for a week, and and I just really struggled. However, I feel like January actually has been probably the most emotional month ever. However, I feel like it's actually really gonna shape me to who I'm gonna be in the future and I'm actually really, really excited. So I've decided to have a little bit of like a different look on the whole situation. So basically, when I was sat in my thoughts, I, not gonna, not gonna lie, I like cried every single day. First of all, I think I was just so upset that obviously I was so excited for this ski trip, as you guys know, it's literally my favorite trip ever. And I was so excited. Obviously all of that got shut down. I couldn't do that. I couldn't ski. I was so upset about my leg. I had so many fitness goals that I wanted to do this year. So many things that I wanted to do. You know, I wanted to run another marathon and just so many things. And I felt like, well now I can't do that. I was doing 75 hard, which made me so happy, so happy, probably like the most consistent I've ever been to anything fitness wise. Like if I hadn't done my workout at 11 p.m., I'd be outside doing my outside workout at 11 p.m. I was making sure I was getting it done. It was a priority and I just I felt so motivated. Like last year was, I've spoken about this a lot, but last year I think was like my little bit of like a lost year. It was the year where I was really trying to figure out what I want in life. I think I spoke about this quite a few times, but when I was younger, I always knew what I wanted in life. And I think that got me to where I am today. And last year was like the first time in my life where I didn't really know what my future was like held. I, I didn't really know what I wanted in the future. And so I think it was a little bit of like a lost year. Towards the end of the year, it obviously got a lot better. Like I met my boyfriend and everything else. And there were so many great things that did come out of last year. But also last year, most of my family was like incredibly unwell and sick. And so it was a little bit of a stress. So I went into January with like really good thoughts. And I was like, this is, this is a new year. It's going to be amazing. I know what I want to come out this year I feel so much more motivated I feel a lot more content and happy I think for me I thrive with goals like if I don't have a goal honestly I'm not happy like I think genuinely and this probably sounds really bad I don't think I will ever necessarily be content and I don't mean that in an ungrateful way mm, is that even I don't I really don't know how to word it but I think it's like one of those right okay I'm using a really random example but like you know how somebody might get a nose job and then they're like if I get my nose done I'll be happy and then they find something else that they don't like. I feel like for me, there will all, I will always have more goals. Like I will never ever be finished. Not to say that those goals, the ones that I've achieved don't make me happy and I'm not grateful for them. I absolutely am. But when I kind of got to the point last year where I didn't know what I wanted and I didn't know what my goals were, it was like a really scary place because I've never had that in my life. Like, of course I want to reach them. But for me, what makes life so exciting is working towards your goals and them coming true. And so yeah, anyways, went into this year with all of that in mind. Then I obviously hurt my knee and that was just like really upsetting. And a lot was going on. I had a lot of bad news. How's the year been so far? A little bit weird, but I feel like it genuinely is going to be the best year of my life. There's so many things that I want out of life and so many th exciting things happening, so many exciting things happening for people around me that I love, which just makes me so happy because I just want everyone around me that are good people for their dreams to come true and them to have so much success, which is so exciting. Also, it probably is the scariest year of my life because I feel like my life is going to change a lot this year a lot and I don't really know what's going to happen for me. I feel like I don't even have the answers to half the questions that you guys have asked me so I will try and answer them in the best way that I can. Um, but yeah, this is a really exciting year but I'm also a little bit terrified. So yeah, overall I think it's going to be a really, really amazing year with a lot of change and I'm just... I'm very, very excited for that. Okay, so a lot of you did ask about my knee and thank you so much, by the way, for everyone that's genuinely so caring. I honestly get like DMs and messages every single day asking how is my knee. Actually, it's really funny though because the amount of people that are like, I can't believe she's walking and she she told us that she she had torn her ACL. When I was in France and obviously I'd ruined my knee and I, I actually couldn't walk for like two days. When I went and saw the doctor, he did do an x-ray. X-ray came back fine. He did some weird little thing to my leg and anyways, kept saying to me, he thinks I've done my ACL. That's all I had to go off. 
So I had got back home, booked a doctor's appointment, then booked a consultation. Now I've got an MRI. It's very long, the process, but it has to happen very quickly for me. I know a lot of people wait an extremely long time to get appointments. So it's only been about three weeks. I haven't had my MRI yet, but I have in fact had my consultation. So I'm really grateful for that. Anyways, I walked in, I saw the doctor and he looked at me and he was like, so what do you think you've done? And I was like, well, I've been told I've done my ACL, but I really don't know. Uh, to be honest, it kind of feels pretty much fine now. He looked at me and he was like, there's no way you've done your ACL. If you've done your ACL, you'd be in agony. And I was like, great, okay. I'm just saying what I've been told. So like, I don't think I've done my ACL either. Anyways, I lay down, he starts moving my leg about, doing all these weird movements with my leg again. And he was like, yeah, I think it could be your ACL. I was like, oh my God, no. He's like, how are you not in agony? And guys, I feel no pain. And actually for all the weeks I've been home, I felt no pain until the last two days. Actually still haven't felt pain, but my leg's been completely fine. I think where I've been working out a little bit more now the past two days my knee keeps dislocating i went on a walk this morning and my whole knee just dislocated it's almost like i'm walking normally and it's like oh knee falls out of place goes back in and then I'm fine again. And it's not painful. It's so bizarre, but it's really frustrating because I'll just be literally going on a walk and it like dislocates. But obviously it could be a lot worse because it could be painful. Anyways, he's now booked me in for my MRI. I've got my MRI coming up. So I still don't really know the answer. I don't really know what it is. He thinks it could be my ACL. I asked him if it could be anything else. He was like, maybe your kneecap, but I think it's just quite hard to see and quite hard to know. That's kind of that basically. Still don't really know the answer, but I know something is definitely wrong with it. It just couldn't actually tell you what it is. Okay, so regarding obviously me being with Lewis in a long distance relationship currently, there's so many questions around it. Well, most of the questions is how are you dealing with a long distance relationship? How long did you know that your boyfriend was going away for? Were you surprised? Will you go out and see him? So I kind of start from the beginning. How long did I know that Lewis was going away for? From the minute that Lewis and I met, he always told me he was gonna play in the NFL. Before he ever got told he was gonna play in the NFL, he always told me, one day I'm going to play in the NFL. And I think the thing that I love the most about him is he's a very optimistic person like myself. And I think if we told half the world our dreams, most people would probably laugh at us. And I remember when he said that, there wasn't a doubt in my mind that didn't think he would. I was like, absolutely. If you think you can do that, then I'm 100% behind you. You can absolutely do that. And he had like no inkling of being in the NFL. Like there was no, he always wanted to do it. He kept saying he was gonna do it. It was like he was manifesting it, but you know, no one had reached out to him. Like that was, at that point, that was never a thing. I kind of like got myself prepared for him going away because I knew that it was gonna happen but obviously it was still quite like a last minute thing like everyone else finding out I still well Lewis only really found out so last minute it was a really really last minute thing and I'm so grateful that I actually got to see him before he left but yeah so I guess I didn't really know that long but like I always kind of knew that it was going to happen so I kind of prepared myself for him going away for a long time and so like in regards of me actually going out and seeing him I so Lewis and I both thought that I was going to be able to go out and see him when he obviously first left he's going away so basically if anyone that doesn't know he's on a 10 week program to try and make it into the NFL and so when he left he was like well maybe you can come out like in the fourth week or something you can just see me for a day and you can just like go and hop go go somewhere else in Florida on holiday and then like come and see me for a day on like the one day I have off so that was kind of like our plan so now he's actually been away for two weeks and I think we both kind of realized that that's probably not going to happen I mean I probably could go out and see Lewis if I really wanted to which I would love to go out and see him but obviously I want him to always put his career first. This is literally his dream. I do not want to be the person stepping in his way at all or making him not focus. So I, you know, I speak to him all of the time. Like we FaceTime every single day from the minute he wakes up, he, fa he FaceTimes me. And so we just have really good communication. And, you know, it's still like, I don't know, it's really weird. Like he's so far away and I miss him so much, but I still just feel like he's here because I speak to him just as much. I speak to him all of the time and we're constantly updating each other on what we're doing and so yeah I don't think I'm gonna go out and see him for the entire 10 weeks which is obviously like really sad when you think about it but it's his time to just really really work hard and prove I think a lot of people wrong even pr like you know prove to himself that he is capable of doing this and changing career paths yeah I'm really really excited for him which then leads me on to 
to going into, are you gonna move to America with Lewis? Honestly, it's really hard to answer because it really, first of all, it depends what happens with Lewis. It depends, you know, if he makes it into the NFL or not, what team he obviously ends up getting. Like, yeah, it really, really depends what, what ends up happening with him. But eventually, of course, if he makes it into the NFL, I will end up moving to the US. But I don't know if it's something I would necessarily do straight away. Like, I don't know if I would spend a couple of months there, spend a couple of months here because my family are here, my friends are here, my house is here, my home is here. I love the UK. It's really funny because I've always dreamt of living in the US, as a lot of you guys know. It's actually so cute. The amount of you that messaged me when the news came out that he was going to the US, like, oh my God, you've always said you want to go to the US. And it literally is like I've manifested my life because I have literally always said since I was a little girl, I'm going to move to the US one day. I also said that I was going to marry an American, which that won't be happening if I'm going out there with Lewis. Well, maybe he's, he'll kind of be an American if he's paying for the NFL-ish. But yeah, it's, it, I don't know, it's so strange how life works out. Like it would be so, so weird because I literally have said that from day dot. But yeah, I guess I just don't really know what would happen at first. I think that's kind of one of those things that's like cross that bridge when it comes to it because it really depends what happens. Also, I feel like for me personally, I kind of want to go in a different direction with my career. I've been working really, really hard on something that might not come, you know, nothing might not come of it for many, many years. I have to learn to be very very patient but if that you know if something does come from that there could be times where I actually cannot be out in the US for however many months because I'm in a different country doing something else and so I think we both know that our career means so much to the both of us and we always want each other to prioritize putting that first and both of us chasing our dreams and I think we've accepted that our relationship isn't technically like the most normal relationship in the sense of we can't be with each other all of the time because because we know that we both have lots lots of aspirations and goals in life. But also it just, honestly, I think it's gonna be, it's definitely not gonna be easy. It is gonna be hard, but I think that's what makes our relationship so special is that we want, you know, all of our goals and aspirations for each other to happen and to come true. And we want to live together and, you know, be with each other constantly, but we also want those other things for each other. And so we just need to, I think when it comes to it, we're just gonna have to learn how to balance all of those things. We're just gonna be a little bit difficult but I have no doubt in it like even even like these 10 weeks I think that will teach us a lot and will kind of get us used to not seeing each other for a long amount of time and then seeing each other again the first few years of our relationship might be like that until like we proper proper settle down and we find exactly what both of us want to do oh my god I honestly feel like I've just totally gone off on that to sum up the question I think eventually I probably will move to well eventually I will move to America with Lewis I don't know if I will necessarily just do it straight away I'm, I genuinely don't know I probably will do months at a time there, months here, and just, yeah, we'll see. We shall see. I really don't know. Are you working on anything new? I actually am. There's a couple of things that I'm so excited to talk about, which... I can't talk about. So I hate to be that person. I will actually give you some some clues. I, I actually cannot say, but um, I'm working with Imogen on something really exciting, which is so cool. The fact that I have the relationships with, well, both of my sister-in-laws, Imogen and Nicole. Imogen technically isn't my sister-in-law yet, but I know she will be. Imogen and Nicole. I'm so grateful for the relationship that I have with them because I know that a lot, a lot of people don't necessarily have that with their sister or brother-in-laws and it's so amazing that we're so close and we both have a passion for something so badly that we've decided to work on this project together um, and we're gonna be launching something very very exciting I want to say very soon but actually it's still it's still gonna take a few more months. We've been working on it for a very long time. It was an idea that we had for a very long time, but then just one day we were like, do you know what, let's just do it. Let's just do it. And we're doing it completely by ourselves, and we are genuinely so excited. We have put so much time and effort into it and I genuinely cannot wait for you guys to hear about it. I'm just, oh my God, I'm so excited. So that's one thing. I'm working on something with Imogen. I actually am also working on something with Lewis, which is so exciting. Again, another thing I'm absolutely genuinely obsessed with and the fact that I haven't been able to speak about it yet is so frustrating but this is something you're actually going to find out so 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 soon oh it's so funny like if you could think of something that is me and a product it's this because I literally have them 
every single, every single day. Probably gonna guess it. But yeah, it's really cool because we are working on that. We basically got like a project that we're doing together. And what else am I doing? Well, I think I'm just making a lot of like big life decisions in my life right now. Like I said, there's something I really have been working super hard on. To be honest, I don't really like talking about things that I want to happen because as much as like people's opinions and telling me that, oh, it's not possible and you can't do that, doesn't affect me. I feel like sometimes just letting success be the noise is like the most amazing thing. I feel like, you know, if, actually not even if, because I don't like if, when, when, when my dreams come true and I've worked really hard and I've made these things happen, then I will, I think I would tell you about what, what it is and what I've been working on for however long. But I feel like this thing is something so big that I will be spending, you know, it could take me literally years, years and years and years and years. And I've accepted that I'm learning to be patient. And so, yeah, there's, there's a lot of things I really want to do in life. And I really hope that they do happen. I'm manifesting that they happen, putting it into the universe. They are going going to happen and I'm gonna look back at this video and be like oh my god I made them come true so many of you have asked me is my skin completely okay now and how did you know that I had rosacea my skin actually has kind of got a little bit backwards I'm not gonna lie I spoke a lot about my acne and stuff last year and how I cleared it up and my skin was incredible in the summer oh my god I look back at my skin in the summer and ah, oh, I just wish I could have that again because it's not like that at all actually in my vlogs and stuff I've been feeling so insecure about like filming in the evenings when I have no makeup and stuff just because my skin has actually really gone backwards but yeah recently I've definitely been a lot more insecure within my skin so to clear up my skin I've spoken about this so many times I want to keep talking about it because I genuinely believe that this brand please understand this is not sponsored this brand is just incredible and actually I'm going to talk about a few of my favorite skincare brands that I think people should absolutely try products I actually am going to talk about are a little bit more on the pricier side, but they are products that genuinely will change your life. And I think it's so much better investing in an actual good product that works than trying out loads of products that isn't gonna work, that's cheap. It'll probably end up adding to the same amount as these products. Not to say that more expensive is better because that isn't always the case. The skincare brand that actually changed my entire skin, which I think is in this parcel because I'm just about to go on this treatment again. In fact, it might be. I wanted to talk you through it because I had a seven step routine to get rid of my skin i went to a skin specialist it's definitely something i recommend everyone doing i'm not gonna say this is gonna work for everyone but i've recommended this to so many people and their skin is completely cleared up so i used a brand called abaji it's seven different steps it's quite harsh on the skin i used abaji alongside tretinoin that is incredible for your skin you have to get prescribed it it's nowhere near as strong as something like accutane but it will end up peeling a layer of your skin off at first i remember i was so self-conscious you fully fully have to trust the process anyways after like a month of using it my acne just went it was unbelievable and i carried on for such a long time you can't go in the sun i mean the sun's obviously not good for our skin anyways and we should always be using spf but yeah so i used that and then when i was going to be in the sun during summer i had a completely clear skin i then got a tan and my skin was just thriving and then back in the winter spots start coming back nowhere near as bad as my acne was at all and that i'm so grateful for i am going to get back onto using a bargy again i've got the face wash and stuff everything's arriving today and I'm so excited to to start the treatment, to start tretinoin. So if you can speak to a skin specialist, again, I know it's a little bit more pricey, but if you can, definitely do so and maybe ask them about a bargy. Um, so that's what I used to clear up my skin. To clear up the scarring, because I definitely still did have scarring and I still do have scarring, but it's nowhere near as bad. I used a brand called Eucerin. It's a lot cheaper. Eucerin, you can, you don't need to get like over the counter. You can just go into Superdrug, pick up Eucerin. It's a really, really great brand. And they do a whole range that's really good for getting rid of acne scarring so i used that that really helped alongside microneedling another skincare brand that i've absolutely fallen in love with recently is a brand called 47 skin oh my goodness there's this serum that i use i put it on every morning and every night i don't know if i'm going to be able to use it alongside a barge or not i assume that i will be able to but it's absolutely incredible like if i have a spot and i put it directly on the spot the spot is nowhere near as harsh in the morning so yeah sometimes i feel like 
actually investing in really good brands will change your life. So they're skincare brands I absolutely love. I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, I wouldn't really use, I wouldn't use face wipes anymore. Like I might use face wipes on my eyes, but to be honest, I would just use micellar water. Garnier micellar water. There's no harsh chemicals in it. It's so much better than using a face wipe. So I always opt to using that as well now. So yeah, I have kind of gone backwards in my skin, but I know it's going to be fine. I'm going to be good for summer. I'm going to sort it out. Be prepared for a very peely, flaky saffron in the next month or so, because just going through the treatment again the joys they're not gonna like burns it literally burns at first but it's fine it's fine it's worth it oh and how did i find out that i have rosacea to be honest i always kind of thought that my skin got red but i kind of just thought that was like pretty normal and then i just literally got told that i had rosacea kind of cute though actually because lewis also has rosacea so we both had the rosacea together cute god it sounds like we can be cold together <laughs> If you listen to my podcast, you know. If you listen to my podcast. Well, I feel like there's so many more questions, but I feel like this video is genuinely an hour long at this point. So I'm probably gonna end it here and I'll answer more of the other questions on Instagram. So if you're not following me, go and follow me on Instagram because yeah, I feel like there is so many questions. I just feel like it's been the longest time since I've actually properly sat down and spoken to you. But hopefully, this is the one thing I love about YouTube is I can actually talk more in depth about things. But yeah, I also just wanted to say as well, like, thank you so much for just all the love. Like, the amount of kind messages that I receive all the time is so sweet. And like, it's just so nice that the amount of you that I meet constantly all the time it's just like the cutest thing i don't want to neglect youtube it's not something i want to do like everyone's like are you quitting youtube i'm not quitting youtube i love youtube youtube is the one thing that will always have my heart i think i just struggle a lot because i feel like TikTok is now the biggest platform and I feel like I should be on there. And I actually really, really enjoy making short vlogs on TikTok, but I always, always want to come back to here. And so I really have decided I'm not going to neglect it. I love it. I love you guys. I'm so grateful for everyone that's come on the journey with me. And I've literally nearly been on YouTube now for 10 years, which is honestly madness, absolute madness. But yeah, just thank you so much everyone for all of your love and support all of the time. I hope everyone has a good, well, has had a good start to the year and does have a good rest of the year. Yeah, and if you ever have any more questions, just DM me, message me, let me know, and I'll try and answer them on Instagram and stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm going to wrap it here, and I shall speak to you guys soon.